Well, it's been described as fruity, fun and young. I'm referring, of course, to that most French of wines, the Beaujolais Nouveau. It's produced just once a year and that time has finally come. To tell us more about it, I'm joined by Kevin Janard, who is a wine producer who, ha who is talking to us straight from the Beaujolais region. Uh, Mr Janard, thank you so much for joining us. It's wine o'clock. I'm told that the secret is all in the grapes. Tell me more. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Beaujolais Nouveau begins in uh, 1951, so 70 years ago. This is the year Beaujolais Nouveau wines are first commercialized. Um, in 1985, to simplify the distribution and sale of Beaujolais Nouveau produced each year, a decree sets the third Thursday of November as their uh, release date. But uh, in simple words, uh, this is the first wine of the year and the occasion to discover the, the new vintage. This is uh, a focus on the Beaujolais region uh, each November. So one day, one region all over the world. This is uh, an annual uh, rendezvous. Uh, Beaujolais Nouveau uh, is associated with good times spent uh, with family or friends uh, at home or uh, in a local uh, bistro. So, but I'm told that even though it's not necessarily the most popular wine in France, it seems to have gained something of a cult status worldwide, and in particularly in Japan. Why, why is it? What is, what is the appeal of uh, Beaujolais Nouveau? Yes, because Beaujolais Nouveau and Beaujolais Village Nouveau, red or rosé, uh, have one thing in common. They are real wines to share, uh, resolutely crunchy, and always with uh, joyful prettiness. And the Gamay variety is perfect for uh, all cuisine in the world. Um, this is why Beaujolais uh, is well known uh, worldwide. So this is really the best time to discover also the whole region with uh, our expressive and uh, terroir-driven uh, Beaujolais wines. Now, tell me a little bit about the taste, because, now, do correct me if I'm wrong, I am told that sometimes it tastes of bananas. Is that true? No, no, no. M maybe, the, maybe in the past, but, uh, you know, Beaujolais Vineyard is uh, perpetuating uh, its original DNA. Uh, the DNA of celebration targets new consumers who are younger without any basis and then move up market via new prices, quality, packaging ratios. Um, I would say that the Beaujolais is definitely um, a forward-looking terroir. A new page of history uh, is being uh, written based on the solid roots laid down by those who are already here. But uh, you know, the new generation is really full of energy, and that's why Beaujolais is now the trendy region that people want to discover or uh, discover again.